Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is today's Tarot for All Signs for Tuesday the 26th of March 2024. I hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube. It's called Psychic Cafe. In there, I give one question readings, amongst other things. Now you can book in for one of those one question readings on my website at any time. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. I do all the pre-book readings right at the start of the next live show, then send you the link to the replay. So it makes it available to everybody, even if you can't make it to my show. Alternatively, you can come live. You can book while I'm live too, and I'll do it right there on the spot. Now, I also offer private readings from my website, BeHealing.com. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. It's the only way to book in with me is on my website, BeHealing.com. So don't trust those scammers that are messaging you because I would never do that. Now, there's two ways in which to win a private reading with me every single month. And the first way is by being a subscriber to my channel. If click like on this video and then leave a comment. That'll get you an entry into that prize draw. Do that as many times as you like on all my videos throughout the month, including the shorts. Don't forget about those. And that'll get you many entries in, so good luck with winning that. Second draw is for my Pick a Card Read viewers. If you purchase the deeper dives to the Pick a Card Reads, as many as you purchase throughout the month, no matter when the video was published, you'll get entries into that draw. So good luck with winning those. Now, what's in the energies for everybody today? We've got a time to restore. Something about taking it easy, restoring, resting, relaxation, that kind of thing. Hmm, okay. Taking time out and hearing. We have gratitude and imagination. Time out, holiday kind of an energy. Have you got the day off today? Some of you might have, or some of you should have taken the day off. Anyway, if you do have the day off, if you have time to yourself today, you might be really grateful for that, and you could be in your imagination and start dreaming up new things. It's a, it's a laying in the hammock kind of a day on the beach. Sounds nice. Hey. No. I just forced those to come out. Shouldn't do that. <laughs> My impatience gets the better of me sometimes. What else, guys? What else in the energies today? Chance. Allow the sea to wash its chest of wonders ashore. You never know what the tide might bring in. I'm getting it's really good to be open to days, to possibilities. There could be like stuff happening out of the blue today. Be open to that, open to the possibilities. We have the Emperor's nice energy. This is the divine feminine energy. Often when the Empress comes out, it's about us um, being nurturing. Yeah, the Empress gives birth to things. So it's, a, it's that nurturing kind of an energy. Often it's about self-esteem and things like that, but I'm getting a, nurture, a need to nurture ourselves. So all those beautiful nurturing energies they've got, you know how you can take care of people so well? Do it for yourself. Turn it on yourself. Nurture yourself today. Could be the birth of something new, you know, because if you nurture yourself, taking time out, laying in the hammock at the beach, your imagination might take your places. You know, when we give our mind space like that, your imagination might dream up new things through that self-nurturing. Tell us more, please. What else have we got in the energies today? Some of you could have a chance meeting today as well with someone. Could be a traveler. Someone from somewhere else. The world card. The world card can be um, ending of a situation, like a, a, a new chapter. Something coming to conclusion, I just heard, which allows a fresh start. So four of pentacles is a need to hold your energy back from something. Then we've got the emperor. Oh, we've got the emperor and the empress on the table now. Painful ending with the emperor. Okay. Now... Uh, for some of you, this could be traveler going out of your life, your emperor, divine masculine energy, and that could be a little bit painful. Not necessarily break up kind of an energy, although it could be that for some. I'm just feeling like this is a temporary situation, um, perhaps a temporary parting sometime apart or something like that. Could be kind of emotionally difficult. Tell us more. The Empress, Divine Feminine Energy. Why do we have the Divine Feminine Energy here? I was definitely, yes, you see, there it is. Divine Feminine is you need to nurture yourself today. Awakening, night of voices and the night of emotions. Two nights. There is clarity in your mind, movement forward with romance here. An awakening to that. So the emotions that you feel today, Empress, about um, perhaps somebody going away for a while. It feels like that to me. The emotional pain that it cause, causes you might make you realize awakening night of voices night of emotions that you've got feelings for someone you might be getting clarity about that so you know how 
if someone's around us we can get complacent we don't necessarily know our feelings about them until they're removed and when we've got that space we can get clarity on our feelings i feel that that's what it is so you could be feeling more romantic or more connected with someone as as you you get into separation from them and it might be giving you clarity on your feelings on romantic feelings so do nurture yourself today because we've got pain on the table ton of voices twice one with the empress one with the empress so we're talking i think partnerships here divine masculine divine feminine so movement into balance getting yourself back into balance as well getting yourself back into balance nurture yourself today if you've got the feels nurture yourself for sure and even if you don't nurture yourself anyway it's a good thing to do the world because we've got travel we've got like an end of a chapter start of a new chapter could be <clears throat> i don't know if we're talking relationship it might be going to just like a distance relationship for a while i'm just getting time apart ace of materials a great big offer on the table three of inspiration you've been waiting for it the world again it's travel it's travel and it's an end of a chapter, start of a new chapter. There's a big offer on the table um, and you might be contemplating that. Um, it doesn't feel like the time is right for it yet, but I feel like this change is coming for you. It feels part of the process. I don't know. What is behind that is self-love. Love yourself through it. So if you've got change going on at the moment, this chance meeting and things like that, um, it, it, it's a phase the world card has come out twice because it's a phase it does feel like some travel involved here and there's a big offer on the table but it feels like in between worlds at the moment is what i'm getting so nurture yourself gently through this phase four of pentacles hold your energy back now why ton of inspiration put the burdens down four of materials hold your energy back right so if you're feeling to repair or to st step in and change something or draw them back in or something like that don't do it pull your energy back there's there's something good if we're talking separation or something temporarily not working out for you and it's causing pain this this separation is giving you clarity on them so don't burden yourself with trying to change the situation embrace it it's happening for a reason for a good reason i think you're gonna get a lot of clarity on your feelings I think this is what it's saying so don't try and step in and change it we want to avoid discomfort sometimes right so we're feeling the pain it's like oh, i'll change this i'll tell them to change or i'll try and draw them back in or i'll try and manipulate this situation so i don't feel this pain anymore but there's a lesson to be had in the pain not not that like you feel need to feel the pain but if you feel into it like why, why is this coming up i think it's going to give you clarity on your feelings ask yourself why why are you feeling this way <laughs> And what's behind that? How this is not a work situation. <laughs> it's not. What's behind that is it's all good. It's all good. So so do try and accept. You know how we need to not fight the whole universe and when we don't accept people as they are and when we don't accept situations as they are, we're fighting the whole universe. When we think, no, I want to manipulate this so, so that I don't so I'm still in my comfort zone so that I don't have these feelings. We, we miss, we try and bypass what is actually happening in the, not lesson, I don't want to say lesson, but the process that we're in, we're in a process. The Emperor and the Ten of Swords, oh, it's them. Okay, they're feeling it too. What's going on for this Emperor here? So Divine Masculine is feeling it too. They're feeling the pain too. High Priestess, intuition, the feeling your feelings. There's an empathic connection here. Uh, we could be talking twin flames here. Queen of emotions, the feeling it, feeling it, feeling it. Yes, a temperance card. So there's patience here. Someone has to go away. They're feeling you. Queen of emotions, she's all in her feels. Watery energy. They're feeling you. There's a, there is an intuitive, there's a, a psychic connection between the emperor and the empress at the moment, both in pain about this and both going through a process to gain clarity. What is behind that is psychic development. There's a psychic connection between you both. There's a need for a period apart here for those of you that are resonating with this reading. Now, for those of you, you don't know what I'm talking about. There is no divine masculine feminine in your life. And it's like that this, these energies are about at the moment. So this might be about you um, dealing with these energies within yourself 
And so what does that mean? Well, if, if you have been clingy in relationships in the past, perhaps you are working on your self-esteem so that you can be in a grounded place. So that when, if you're trying to draw a divine masculine into your life, say when they come in, you're going to be at a much more stable place, able to go through this process. You know, so as we are learning how to be in relationship better, that means dealing with our own emotions. I think you can only be um, healthy for a relationship if you can by yourself deal with your emotions to a certain extent now we do in relationship um, co-regulate with each other so I'm not saying you need to do it all by yourself however what we don't want to do is dump on the other person right or that or try and manipulate that the situation or them to feel better go through the process so if this isn't happening for you, I would preempt it and use these energies to perhaps address what you've done in, in previous relationships when you have tried to perhaps manipulate the situation to feel less pain. Rather than being where you're at at the moment and, and just being present with your pain. It's like, what is this telling me? What is this pain telling me? Uh, what am I not trusting here? How am I trying to fight the universe on this? Mm. Okay, what about our love lives? I think there's a lot going on in our love lives at the moment, but it feels like a break. Friendship. Get together with your friends, especially if you're feeling pain. Don't, don't isolate yourself. Be around friends. Restore yourself for sure and look inside of yourself. Examine what's causing you to feel this way. What have I just been saying? Examine what's causing you to feel this way. And it, it'll be like, I don't want reality. I don't want this to be happening. It doesn't feel like a breakup. It feels like a temporary situation apart, but it's bringing up feels for sure. So examine those feelings. It's okay to be apart from somebody if you're trusting them and they're just trust them, they're gonna come back. Now, if there's a lack of trust there, if you've got insecurity, that could be what the feelings are showing you, right? Sometimes we're, we're too surface level. So we're like, I'm feeling bad because they're not here. And it's like, that's not the real reason why you're feeling bad though. Go deeper than that. Go deeper with that and ask you, yourself, well, why is them not being here causing me to feel that way? And if you are single, and being single is making you feel a certain kind of a negative way. Ask yourself about that too. What what is it about being myself that being by myself that is causing me to feel a pain about this? Keep your heart open. Don't let this whatever's going on at the moment cause you to close your heart down. Keep your heart open because we can get defensive and it's like, well, I'll hurt less if I close my heart down. Well, that's true, but you'll also close your heart down to love too. It feels quite romantic and it feels quite bittersweet today. Got the romance card out. It, it, sometimes love and loss, sometimes the aching is sweet. Mystery, romance and mystery. And some of you, you don't know how this is going to turn out. And it could be the unknown that makes you feel insecure. And that's okay. We can know that about ourselves. And we don't need to beat ourselves up about that. It is an insecure feeling. You know, I was talking to somebody yesterday about diving, going underwater, free diving. You know what they do, free divers? You can, while you're snorkeling, you can kind of dive under the water to have a look at fish and have a look at what's under a rock and stuff like that. A few meters holding your breath and you go back up as, again. But there's this free diving thing. They do it on this island where there is a line that goes down and they try, like they do the breathing and stuff to try and hold the breath as long as they can to go directly down to see how far that they can go and then come straight back up again. I don't see the appeal in that myself. It feels scary to me. And this is what I was explaining. It's like, I wouldn't do that because just drowning, like, the fear involved in that and he was saying yeah there's a fear for him too he wouldn't want to do that that's scary and, and he was saying that perhaps that there's something wrong with that fear and it's like there's nothing wrong with that fear dangerous things where we will probably drown if there aren't people around taking care of us that should be scary right there are certain fears that should that are normal and we we should be feeling that do you know what i mean so, and separation is one of those things too. It's natural to feel because what's our nervous system saying? It's saying that we're apart from our tribe, that we're not going to get food and shelter and all of that kind of thing. So 
sometimes we just need to nurture ourselves, <laughs> self-love and fear of inadequacy, interesting. So yes, be loving yourself, be loving yourself more today, nurturing yourself more today. Now fear of inadequacy, you might think like you've done something wrong, that, that old um, lack of self-esteem might kick in and then you might be thinking, you know, what have you done wrong? What, why is this going wrong? And it's, it's not necessarily the, the case that it's going wrong at all. Tell us more. We've got crown. Honor and respect will come to you. It's coming to you. Leg. Stepping into a new experience now. And lightning. Control your anger or you'll be sorry. So yeah, if you get into anger, if you, if you allow these emotions, negative emotions, to take you over and go into that and then you start manipulating. There could be a lot of sabotage. Don't do it. Don't sabotage. Control your anger. Don't, don't let it get to that. Don't dwell on those negative emotions and make that even bigger. Instead, be present with them. Empathic to yourself. Sympathetic with yourself. Give yourself a hug. Nurture yourself and go, I'm a human. This is why I'm experiencing this in this way. And it shows that I've got feelings. So think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for your answer. But it's just a bit of fun because this is a general reading, not a personal reading. If you want me to pull crystals out of my bag and cards out of my deck for a specific question that you've got, you can book in for a one question reading with me on my website, behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. Um, and I, you can also book in for a private reading as well. If you've got a few questions, or you want a lot of detail in the full reading, find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. Book yourself in. Get those out within 48 hours of your ordering them, often within 24, to be honest. Now, how best to deal with these energies? Empress again, Divine Feminine, take care of yourself. Ace of Swords says, it's the key that there, you're learning something at the moment that this is it's needed, this phase. It will pass, but you need to go through this. There's something that you need to go through right now. I, and so just be present with it. It's all good. And I do feel like if, if you do have this Ace of Swords approach, which is, well, what is this about? Um, it, it's the inquiry. It's like the key. There's something here. There's something about my beliefs that I'm learning. It's like a hard card. There's an hard to get from this of what I'm going through. If you have that in mind, it's like, oh, this is interesting. I don't feel very good at the moment. What is this all about? And get interested in that and nurture yourself through it. You're going to be cool. You're going to be great. Wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting that in the energies today. Well, think of a yes or no answer question now. Pause the video if you're not ready for your answer. Your answer is yes. Go for it. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like before you click off down there. Click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment. That'll get you an entry into the prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month. I do one of these today's tarot every single day of the year. I go live three times a week in my Psychic Cafe show. And I make three love picker card reads a week as well. Find one of those right there right now. Watch that next if you want. I have the best day ever. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.